Hey guys, my name is Steven Sharif and I'm the creative director here at Intrepid Studios. We're working on an upcoming MMORPG named Ashes of Creation. And I'm pretty excited to share with you today on this Kickstarter what we're all about. Ashes of Creation is an open world, non-faction based MMORPG set in a high fantasy world. One of the reasons that I started Intrepid Studios to create Ashes of Creation is because I myself am a gamer. I've been a gamer playing MMORPGs since I was seven years old. And uh, you know, I've really never experienced a community quite like what MMORPGs have to offer. It's, it's a diverse community. There's a lot of people involved. I mean, thousands of players from across the world. And, and it was just such a passion of mine to be able to experience that involvement in, in a game like an MMORPG. Over the past several years, having played MMORPGs, uh, I was kind of not impressed with what has been coming out of the genre. Um, a lot of pay to win, cash grab style games, and I just felt that there could be something better. And uh, you know, if you want to get things done right, sometimes you just have to do them yourself. So in order to accomplish these goals for Ashes of Creation, I really needed to find a team that had a lot of experience with MMORPG production in the past because as you know, an MMORPG is a massive project. There's a lot of good talent here and we were able to pull together a pretty amazing team. A team that's worked on Star Wars Galaxies, EverQuest 2, Call of Duty, and a lot of other titles. The reason we're here on Kickstarter is because we want to expand the scope of our project. We want to make it bigger and better. We also want to give an opportunity to you to participate in that community development, to, to be in on our discussions of design. We feel that Kickstarter and crowdsourcing is a, is a pretty good avenue towards that development. Ashes of Creation is, is really about four primary pillars of our development. It's, it's about our node system, which is an integral part of exactly how the world works and, and interacts with you as the player. It's also about our meaningful conflict, uh, PvP, uh, and, and how you can catalyze change in the environment around you. Uh, the economy is our third pillar, which focuses on incentivizing you as the player to, to get out in the world and interact with it. And last, but most important, potentially, is our, is our narrative. The, the narrative really holds all of those systems together in, in keeping you as the player interested in exactly what different outcomes come about. When players first arrive on this world, they're going to find it devoid of civilization. There's wilderness everywhere, and it's up to the players to kind of bring civilization to this world. These nodes are how players do that. There are tons of nodes throughout the world, and each of them has a zone of influence. This zone of influence captures all the activity of the different players doing different things. It could be crafting, it could be fighting, it could be gathering. Anything that, that might give you experience is something that the node's going to be paying attention to. And as you level up your character, the node levels up with you. And as it levels, more and more civilization gets attracted to that area. We want the world to react to the player. That's the most important part, is the world is reacting to your actions. Different nodes attract different events. The world doesn't stay quiet for long, and civilization disturbs deep and dark things throughout it. A city that grows up on the side of a mountain um, might dig a little bit too deep and might disturb the things that are below. And that might include like a, a giant dragon that uh, erupts with a volcano and uh, lays down waste to that node that developed there. Um, and that's something that wouldn't happen any other place. That's, that's, a, that's an event that's unique to that particular node at that particular time. And because of that, like players are going to experience this game very differently depending on, on how they build it. Each server is going to have its own story. And we're pretty excited to see what players do with that. How do they react to that dragon coming out that mountain? Do they pack up their bags and move? Or do they decide to, to fight it, to, to, to gather all of their friends and, and take down this monster because this is their home. So that's what differentiates our game from most others. It reacts to what the players do. It reacts to, to the player's decision. While you're developing these points of civilization, there is a mechanic for change, and change relating to that meaningful conflict. Because players are motivated by different things, 
experience because they want something from the game that other players don't want. Um, that's going to cause people to butt heads. Different players are going to want different experiences and the conflict between the two of them will create a, a bigger and better thing. Out of strife comes rebirth and, and that's a core symbol, it's a core theme that occurs throughout the game. Our castle system, our, our sieges against nodes, the caravan system, uh, battlegrounds that exist, guild wars. We want there to be a meaning to this, this conflict. We want players to actually have some skin in the game when it comes to participating in PvP. If you own a home in a node and you don't want to see that home destroyed, you need to defend that city. Risk versus reward is what gives you that adrenaline. It gives you that, that meaning to, to participate. So what drives you as a player in the game? For a lot of people, it's the economy, and that's why it's our third pillar. We, we really want the economy to incentivize you to interact with other players, to get out there and get resources to develop the world. We've regionalized our marketplaces. We've regionalized our warehouses. Uh, it's not just one global auction house, like a lot of games kind of throws the economy to the side. I wanted to emphasize economy. One major feature in our economy that differs from most fantasy style MMOs is that we're not approaching it from a global scale. Rather, we're trying to carve the world up into regions and make each one focus independently while of course at the same time working together. The global auction house isn't something that you're going to find in our game at the early stages or maybe ever. Rather, you're going to have to go to a town. You're going to have to buy, sell, or gather whatever you want. What this creates is a competitive advantage, much like we have in the real world. Some towns, some areas are going to be better at certain things, some are going to be worse at some things. But the important part is that you get to play a role in who's better at what and who's worse at what. And if you want to be better at something, we're giving you the opportunity to become better at whatever you want. Creating those regional marketplaces, those regional warehouses, we've incentivized the transit of goods. If you want to create local marketplaces or, or you want to create a local economy, you can do so because that mithril mine is nearby, um, you know, and it's not found somewhere else. The caravan system is what allows you to transit goods to other marketplaces. The economy is usually something that happens in the background of other games. And uh, from day one, we knew that the economy was going to be something really important to us. The fourth pillar in Ashes of Creation is our narrative, the story, and how it relates to you, both as an individual and as a member of the greater community. In Ashes of Creation, um, we've got uh, three main ways that we're going to be telling the story. One is tasks, one are events, and the final one is our overarching narrative. The narrative is going to be where you find most of the story. Each server will tell a different story, and this, is, this story is going to be told by the players. You're going to experience things differently when it comes to what bosses you've encountered because of how the world develops and how you have developed it. The node system is going to be what, what drives uh, what storyline branches players experience. Different NPCs are going to be attracted to different nodes. There's going to be different protagonists and antagonists based on how players build their world. It's all going to relate to the same basic story, but you're going to get different viewpoints on different servers, and you're going to find uh, different bad guys on different servers. It's all going to depend on what players uncover, how they uncover it, and when they uncover it. Different servers are going to be able to talk to each other and, and, and figure out kind of you know, what they missed and fill in the blanks and, and be able to collaborate and build this bigger meta story that you won't get otherwise in other games. So with all of these four main pillars of design, you'll notice that it's really hard for us to talk about any one of them without talking about all of the others. Um, and that's a very core part of our design. It's really important that all of these pieces fit together really well, and that they create an engine that allows people to keep experiencing new things. So I wanna give you an opportunity here on our Kickstarter to get involved in this project, to become a part of its development. Uh, we have enough self-funding to create a core viable product in Ashes of Creation, but we really wanna expand it. We wanna make it bigger and better, and we know we can achieve that with your help.
Everybody here at Intrepid Studios is incredibly excited about this project, and we're really hoping that we've infected you with that kind of excitement too. We want to get this thing done, and we want to include everybody to be a part of it. This is going to be a different game, and this is going to change the genre. So if you're as excited as we are, uh, let's do this thing. Let's, let's make this thing happen, because we can only do it with you. I've been on the other side of that screen. I've seen companies come to Kickstarter and, and promise the world and either under deliver or just don't deliver at all. But the reality is we're not those people. I brought together a team of industry veterans who've spent over 40 years combined working on MMORPGs and have created some pretty amazing titles. That's what we're gonna do here with Ashes of Creation. We're gonna create an amazing game, a game that you can be proud of.